Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here with yet another Ham Shack Chat. This time we're going to take a look at several ways to improve your receive SSB on the new ICOM IC7760. By the way, you might even gain some insight into other ICOM radios such as the IC7300. As always, any questions, corrections, please or just general remarks can be left in the comments section below. Leave your comments below. We're going to start this by discussing RF gain. RF gain in ICOM radios is a little different than it is in just about all the other rigs in that the other rigs RF gain is a single knob and if you turn it all the way clockwise you're at max and if you turn it all the way counterclockwise you're at zero RF gain. Right now I'm set all the way counterclockwise and you can see that I am in the RF gain setting which is indicated by this RFG right up here. The RF gain knob is actually a combined knob and as you turn it up and you get to about the 10 o'clock position, you'll notice that the RF gain goes away. At this point, you're in the squelch setting and it's not going to change anymore if you turn it all the way up. So if you're adjusting RF gain, max is where it just comes on when you're going backwards or goes off going up. The rest of it is squelch, which you would use on FM mode. As you notice, the S level on the noise right now is reading about an S5. I'm going to try to find somebody who's having a conversation and turn up my audio. Time jump. Sorry, that's Florida Kiso party. Follow up Tango, three Tango. Okay, so I found a station working the Florida Cuso party. I'm going to turn my sound up a bit here. So what you want to do is adjust your RF gain down until the noise is reduced without affecting the station that you're trying to listen to. So this is a nice balance. So I'm going to adjust it up and down and your goal is to get the best signal that you can get. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust this up and down. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust the RF gain up and down and your goal in doing this is to find a place where the noise is reduced, the noise floor is reduced, but the station you're trying to work is still readable. So I'll just do that back and forth a little bit. And I find this level is good for me. Your results may vary. I'm going to turn down my sound and you notice that I have changed the orientation of my rig because I wanted to show you that above my rig I have a couple front facing speakers. This one is for your AVFO and this is for your BVFO. The control head speakers are on the top. They're here and here and they relate the same VFO A, VFO B. And those speakers are good for 60% of the people. The other 40% of the people, like myself, have a problem hearing sounds in our ears because our ears are not as young as they used to be, especially if I do not have my hearing aids in. Do not have to buy the ICOM branded speakers. Look at your owner's manual, find out what the speaker output is, and buy something off the shelf 
They'll probably be a lot less expensive than these were, but I kind of like the look of these on my shelves. Let me reiterate, adjusting your RF gain because the controls are usually right on the front panel is the easiest and most convenient thing to do. To find the balance between lowering your noise while still hearing the receive station, that's a little bit more difficult, but you can get it with a little bit of practice. Thanks for sticking around so far, and since you've made it this far, please take a moment to chunk that thumbs up icon and give me a like. I like you. Now this time we're going to go into our menu. We're going to do some settings in there. Actually three settings. Fortunately, they're all in one location. So I'm going to go into my menu and I'm going to go ahead and expand this so you can see what's happening. I'm going to turn up my speaker. Thank you for the Texas Whiskey Quebec 66. We're going to go into our settings. We're going to go to Tone Control, we're going to go to Receive, and SSB. We're going to adjust our Receive, High Pass Filter, and Low Pass Filter. I'm going to set that at 200, and I'm going to set my High Pass Filter at 2400. And we'll back out of that. So you see that's now what, what's there. Now we're going to adjust our base. And while this fellow is talking, I'm going to adjust my base. And so you can see what that does. Using the soft keys. We'll put him all the way up. To adjust my treble. Uh, well, we're going to adjust this one down because most of our noise is in the high level. So now we're going to get back to those settings. And I'll go ahead and bring my display down a little bit so you can see what's happening here. That's another way that you can reduce noise simply by changing the way the rig receives and translate the information. If you find this information informative, please share. Lady Lambry enjoys sharing her insults with society directly. It with your friends and compatriots in the ham radio community, especially on any social media sites you may frequent. I'm going to turn my speaker down. The first thing we have is our notch filter. We have two settings here. First is the AN, which is automatic notch. If a noise source comes up in the middle of your bandwidth, which you see on the sub display, which is right there, it will automatically notch that out. Now we're going to go to manual notch and you can see I've got that notch right here. And if you want, you can press and hold this. That's going to give you two selections. First off, the position. And you adjust the position using the multifunction knob. So you can see me moving it down and moving it up. So if you have an interfering signal, that's very useful for that. And we'll go ahead and put that in the middle here. The other thing you can do is have narrow, wide. So you can see your notch is quite a bit larger. And mid, which is between the two. I'm going to put this back on wide and say you have a interfering signal, which is right up here, another person encroaching on your frequency. You can just turn that guy up and take them out. And I'm going to turn my speaker up. CQ20, CQ20 meters, CQ Florida, Q so party, November, Lima And you're still getting a good signal. Nancy Lima 7, with now I'm going to put this back. Down in County, I'm going to turn my notch off. Another thing you can use is your noise blanker. And you can you know, select that. If you press and hold, that brings this up. So you can adjust your level, you can adjust your depth, and you adjust your width. And I'm just going to set that down on 50. All of these adjustments are done using the multi-knob on the edge. 
7 Whiskey Alpha, Florida Cuso Party, Hernando. Yeah, I used to live over on the Eastern Shore about five We'll years turn our noise blanker off, and we're going to go QSL to our QSL noise QSL reduction. I'm going to turn that on. And this is a series of algorithms that automatically reduce noise. So I'm going to press and hold that, and you get the level. Right now it is at a zero. So virtually off. November 5, November Charlie off. Here looks like I got you. Yeah, adjust this. Find a level that gives you the best signal. So between all of these adjustments that I've shown you, I'm going to go ahead and turn my noise reduction off. Get out of the functions. Press the function key. I'm going to turn my sound down. And just a reminder, I am using the ICOM IC7760. However, it should work on most modern ICOM radios. It does work on my 7300 virtually identically as I've shown you here. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I enjoyed putting it all together for you. I also hope that you've learned something along the way, as I did when preparing to put this video together. 73 until the next Hey Y'all. This has been a Hamshack chat about improving your SSB receive signal on the ICOM IC7760 and by association other modern ICOM rigs. Please remember to comment, like, and share this video. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel. I certainly appreciate it. I'm Tom, ND3N, and I am out. He's so cute. Definitely cute. And smart.